Community centers or community centers are public locations where members of a community tend to gather for group activities, social support, public information, and other purposes. They may sometimes be open for the whole community or for a specialized group within the greater community. Community centers can be religious in nature, such as Christian, Islamic, or Jewish community centers, or can be secular, such as youth clubs. Uses and activities Community centers generally perform many though rarely all, the following functions in its community note this list is intended to define which meaning of the phrase community center is covered by this article rather than being facts about what some other sources associate with that phrases, though adding source confirming that other sources use the phrase in a similar way would be nice. As the place for all community celebrations at various occasions and traditions. As the place for public meetings of the citizens on various issues. As the place where politicians or other official leaders come to meet the citizens and ask for their opinions, support or votes. Election campaigning. In democracies, other kinds of requests in non-democracies. As a place where community members meet each other socially. As a place housing local clubs and volunteer activities. As a place that community members and sometimes others can rent cheaply when a private family function or party is too big for their own home. For instance the non-religious parts of weddings, funerals etc. As a place that passes on and retells local history. As a place where local non-government activities are organized. As a place where indoor circuses can entertain the paying public. As a place of relief in instances of community tragedies. Topic. Organization and ownership. Around the world and sometimes within single countries there appear to be four common ways in which the operation of the kind of community center are owned and organized. In the following description, government may refer to the ordinary secular government or to a dominant religious organization such as the Roman Catholic Church, and it may refer to the central national or international branch or to the local subdivision of it. Community owned, the center is directly owned and run by the local community through an organization separate from the official local governmental institutions of the area, but with the full knowledge and sometimes even funding from local government institutions. Example. Government owned, the center is a public local government facility, though it is mostly used for non-government community activities and may even have some kind of local leadership elected from its community. Example. Kominkan in Japan. Sponsored, a rich citizen or commercial corporation owns the place and donates its use to the community for reasons of charity or public relations. Example Topic. Origins of individual community centers Each individual community center typically has its own peculiar origin and history, though some variants seem to be common. Built as such Buildings have been erected specifically to function as community centers at least as far back as the 1880, perhaps even earlier. Disused public building. When an official government building such as a school or city hall is no longer needed for its original purpose, it is sometimes offered to the community as gift, loan or sale. Disused commercial building. When a commercial building of some local importance is no longer used, it is sometimes sold or donated to the community. Building that served many of the community center purposes in addition to a different primary use such as school, church, inn or town hall, which was later acquired so it could continue these functions after its primary use subsided. Topic. Schools as community centers Early forms of community centers in the United States were based in schools providing facilities to inner city communities out of school hours. An early celebrated example of this is to be found in Rochester, New York from 1907. Edward J. Ward, a Presbyterian minister, joined the Extension Department at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, organizing the Wisconsin Bureau of Civic and Social Development. By 1911 they organized a country-wide conference on schools as social centers. Despite concerns expressed by politicians and public officials that they might provide a focus for alternative political and social activity, the idea was successful. 
In 1916, with the foundation of the National Community Center Association, the term community center was generally used in the U.S. By 1918 there were community centers in 107 U.S. cities, and in 240 cities by 1924. By 1930 there were nearly 500 centers with more than 4 million people regularly attending. The first of these was Public School 63, located in the Lower East Side. Clinton Childs, one of the organizers, described it as a community organized about some center for its own political and social welfare and expression, to peer into its own mind and life, to discover its own social needs and then to meet them, whether they concern the political field, the field of health, of recreation, of education, or of industry, such community organization is necessary if democratic society is to succeed and endure. In the UK many villages and towns have their own community centre, although nearby schools may offer their assembly or dining hall after school for community centre activities. For example, local schools near Austin may host dance, or sporting activities provided by a local community centre. Grassroots <laughs> <laughs> functions <laughs> 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 Parks are also considered community centers. Another pioneer of community centers was Mary Parker Follett, who saw community centers as playing a major part in her concept of community development and democracy seen through individuals organizing themselves into neighborhood groups, and attending to people's needs, desires and aspirations. This can also include parks. In the United Kingdom, the oldest community centre is possibly that which was established in 1901 in Thringstone, Leicestershire by the old age pensions pioneer, Charles Booth 1847 Extended in 1911 and taken over by the Leicestershire County Council in 1950, this centre still thrives as an educational, social and recreational community resource and was the inspiration for numerous others of its kind. There are also community centers for a specific purpose, but serving the whole community, such as an arts center. Community centers online are defined as a web-based interactive, user-submitted network for groups, organizations, or businesses. Users create their own personal profiles, blogs, groups, photos, art, calendars, music and videos to display on their own pages. Administrators provide oversight to the content and approve membership of users. Urban planning In Singapore, community centres are distinct buildings that are officially designated by the Government of Singapore. They are meant to play an urban planning role especially as part of housing development board projects. Enrichment and grassroots organisation are their functions like most other community centres, but relieving traffic congestion concerns by placing community centres nearby is also another reason. See also Autonomous Social Centre Community Arts Cultural Centre Village Hall YMCA Kominkan Japanese Citizens Public Hall People's Houses Teen Centre Topic References Topic. External links Self-managed social centers Social centers, community spaces, and squats from Italy's Cultural Underground by Adam Bregman Social Center Events Calendar International Federation of Settlements and Neighborhood Centers